Jim Carrey just said something brave about the Will Smith slap. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless. It really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Is Jim Carrey right? Because we have a man who slapped someone on live television over a joke. This very man did not get kicked out of the event's venue and minutes later even got a standing ovation from everyone who witnessed it. Would the same happen if he wasn't the beloved Will Smith? But then again, we also have the other side of the argument. It is incredibly hard for a woman to lose her hair. Will, as a loving husband, must have seen his wife cry because of her illness many times. So, the moment he noticed her being hurt by the joke, he took a stand to defend her. It was emotional, yes. It was out of place, yes. But in that moment, he channeled his wife's pain. Which side are you on? Is it the side of Jim Carrey and the people who say Will cross the line? Or is it the side of the people who agree with what Will Smith did? Before I say anything, it's important to say that I am a fan of Will Smith and I hope that by the end of this video we all agree on forgiving him. But I am fully confident that I am right in this. Freedom of speech needs to be protected. Who you're looking at right now is a younger Will Smith making a very similar joke on TV. The big player, he got a rule. He got to wax his head every morning. That's a rule. Jokes, come on. Back in these times, the cancel culture didn't exist yet. These were the times when people could see the difference between comedy and real life. When people weren't so sensitive. But today, and you don't have to agree with me on that, I don't like how every single day we add new things to the list of what people can get offended by. Every day, people get silenced for their opinions. And now, even for their jokes. This slap is the best example of that. This standing ovation is the best example of that. I was sickened by the standing ovation. The legend Jim Carrey is right. Because free speech cannot ever be punished. And you know why I'm so confident that I'm right? Because Will Smith himself has written a public apology where he said he was wrong. He apologized to Chris. He said he is a work in progress. And that is to be greatly respected. And that is exactly why I said that I hope we all agree on forgiving him. And as we forgive Will Smith, let's not forget about Chris Rock, because this 57-year-old critically acclaimed comedian deserves an Oscar. He carried on like a master. He decided to not file charges and will most likely move on. In all of this drama, he is the one who deserves this standing ovation.